I've been listening to uh, some Reggie Wright interviews. It's been very enlightening. Reggie Wright, in his own words, said that he and his father, and probably his father, approached Suge with intel that Suge Knight's life was in danger, that somebody was going to kidnap him and extort him. And they didn't know the quality of the intelligence but they really wanted to help out Suge Knight. Because now Suge Knight's doing real well, and so they basically inserted themselves into the whole death row situation. And this gives us some tremendous insight. Uh, they didn't have any hooks into Suge Knight, so they created some. And then Suge said, oh yeah, I gotta get you involved. And so that leads to then when Snoop has his murder beef and they need to have evidence stolen out of the LAPD evidence locker that leads to somehow involving Reggie and his whole clan and we see that there's a deepening of a relationship that happens because when it comes to intimidating the witnesses in the Snoop murder trial those witnesses are intimidated by Compton police and by LAPD so we can see that there's Compton and LAPD. Then Suge Knight says, hey, we got to legitimize this. We got to have a cop set. So that means gang members with guns and badges working security for death row records. And so this is how they start to roll. And then we have the El Rey Theater happens, the beating of Kelly Jamerson. Then we have the uh, the Mark Anthony Bell incident, and we see the technical proficiency. So we have them using police scanners, and they're having they have layers of security, and so we see an escalation of the behavior. And then of course we have the Tupac murder, and what do we know from Mayor Omar Bradley? He went to the um, MGM Grand. In a previous fight, he sees security there. And who are the security people that are working there? All the Compton police officers. So they're clearly scoping out this place. And then we have the Tupac murder. Compton police is there. We've seen Reggie Wright Sr.'s picture. And so we know that that whole Orlando Anderson thing, these guys uh, scoped it out. They knew security people there. They worked there before. David Kenner's the one that enters the tape into evidence in the uh, probation violation of Suge Knight. And Reggie Wright Sr. had been the one speculating about who was going to run death row records if something happened to Suge. So not only did they speculate about something happening to Suge, but maybe they, they pushed a little to make something happen with Suge. Suge goes off to jail, and then he goes to prison. But then we also have the murder of Biggie Smalls that happens and right after that we have Kevin Gaines who seems to be unraveling and he is murdered by officer Frank Liga in what Frank Liga said was a sanctioned hit by LAPD and then we have a further escalation of behavior we have the bank robbery that happens at the B of A and then we also have the theft of evidence, more evidence going missing out of an LAPD evidence locker. And Rafael Perez is caught and he's tried and he's such a good liar that he's able to actually get a hung jury in the first trial. They're afraid to try him a second time. And so what ends up happening, they cut a deal with him and all of the shenanigans that had gone on previously basically become a slap on the wrist. David Mack, for the bank robbery, gets a slap on the wrist. He doesn't have to reveal who his accomplices were in that bank robbery. And similar pattern of behavior, the radios, the scanners, the multiple vehicles, and the same death row pattern. It's a pattern of escalating behavior. It's corrupt cops. Then we have the gun that's used to shoot a police officer in Long Beach 
and that gun flowed through Death Row Records and flowed through the Compton PD Evidence Locker. And that leads to the theft of the missing cocaine investigation, almost 200 kilos that they knew was missing. How many kilos were missing from before? We don't know. And uh, there's a loophole in the system. And so that leads to the Compton police being disbanded and absorbed into the sheriffs. And what do we know from the time Suge Knight goes to prison, death row records, and the Compton Police Department functioned as one and the same entity. So it starts with Reggie Sr. and Reggie Jr. inserting themselves into death row records. It ends up with the theft of death row records. It ends up with Reggie Sr. and Reggie Jr. being charged in drug distribution and money laundering. Don't trip.